What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be working on the Honda 4Trax 300. But before we get into that video, go like, subscribe, and at the end of the video leave a comment and tell me what you think. Give me some ideas so I can start covering these things in the video. Whatever you'd like to see, let me know. Alright guys, we're about to get started on this and uh, adding this to the, the bike. Alright guys, here she is, the old Honda 300 4Trax. Here's the parts to it, right here. Numera piston rings, OEM size piston rings. We got the Numera top end gasket, come with all your gaskets you need, even the exhaust gasket. And we're going with the uh, 1PZ carburetor for it. <clears throat> it's one of the better carbs you can get off uh, off eBay because I didn't really spend that OEM pricing. But this one's supposed to be really good on the uh, reviews on it. So we're gonna try her out, see how she does. So let's get to it. First, you're gonna to want to take the seat off. There's a latch over here. Get that out the way. Then there's a bolt right there for your gas tank. And we're gonna pull the gas tank off. You gotta unhook the line, make sure it doesn't leak. Turn the pet crack off, don't forget about that. This one bolt is gonna be a 12 millimeter. Zip that off like that. And watch these clips on each side. This out the way all right we got the gas tank out the way it's over there as you can see here's the other new ebay carb that tried tuning it tried adjusting it just nothing works so we like i said we're going with that better brand than just a random one off ebay but we're going to take that off and uh when we get to the top end start pulling the top end apart in order to get the carb off there's a little that screwdriver clamp right there as you can see there in the rear as you can see right there we're gonna loosen those and we're gonna pull the carb off we're gonna start pulling all these hoses off of it too all right guys we got the car pulled out and uh we're gonna hook the throttle cable and the choke and get it completely off all right the choke is going to be a 14 millimeter just unscrew it until it pulls out all right we got the choke off here she is that's what she looks like i just unscrew it from there and pull straight out and then we got a uh, one fillet bolt right here we'll get that off and we're gonna start pulling the throttle cable off all right we got that throttle cable cover off now we're gonna get i think it's a uh, 10 right here unscrew this oh it's loose when i have to and then we need to unhook that line we're gonna open the throttle like this and hook this line like that and just Screw this like that. Comes out like that, and boom. There's the car, it came completely off. Set it over here on the table. We'll put that one back on after we get the top end back together. All right, guys, now we gotta tackle the top end. So we're gonna start by taking this motor mount off. <coughs> um, I think it's gonna be a 14, maybe even 13 millimeter. I'll double check. In fact, a 14 millimeter here, here, and here. And then this oil line right here is gonna be a 10, but that's gonna include when taking off the valve cover. Um, we're gonna zip that off real quick, as you can see. And then we're about to be focusing on the valve cover. It's gonna be a couple of 10 millimeter bolts, as you can see that. I'm gonna zip that off, get that off. Also the 10 millimeter oil line. Guys, try not to lose the copper o-ring washer thing whatever you want to call it that goes right here because uh i just completely lost one of them i was unzipping this and i pulled the bolt out one completely dropped usually gets stuck and you have to pry them off and that's what i thought but drop down heard it ting the exhaust and then i don't know where it went i looked behind the exhaust it's not back there so we had to buy a new one i got the valve cover unbolted there's a couple 10 millimeters and there's also three eight millimeters two right here and one in the front you do have to take off these little covers to get to them but she is ready to pull up go out this way Set that right there. Oops, 
for the cam to valves and valve springs. So we're gonna go ahead and zip this exhaust off, get it out the way. So there's gonna be a 14 millimeter bolt here, one right there, if you could see it. Up there, I had to soak them with WD-40 because it was rusted. Also, two 12 millimeter bolts right here, as you can see. We're gonna have to get that zipped off, not the way, so we can get the top end tore down. Man, guys, it's freaking storming. But anyway, so we got the exhaust off. We're about to pull the time tensioner to get the cam out the way. And we're gonna have to find something to hold this timing chain up so it doesn't fall into the engine. Because if it falls into the engine, you're just gonna be completely screwed. So we're gonna try to find something to hold this up, pull all the head, the cylinder, and everything off. All right, guys, we got the cam out. Here she is. Kind of a pain to get the cam out. You had to roll it over to kickstand, pry the chain off, because we got the tensioner out. Pry the chain off one side and keep rolling it while the chain rolled around it. Now, I'm thinking the next time when we go back together, it's gonna be hard, but I think I'm gonna unscrew the cam gear and try to set it on there and then screw it back. That might work better. Never did one of these, it's the first time, so I did Hondas, which is not one of these. So we got undo these head bolts. It's got three Allens. And already under these, it's two 14 millimeter nuts on each side right here and right there. I'm gonna slide this head up, get out the way. All right, guys, we got the head off right there. Um, I forgot about the two 14 millimeter bolts on this side too, or well, nuts. But uh, so it's three Allens right here, right here, and four 14 millimeter nuts. Uh, eight millimeter Allen head bolts. Now we're gonna get this cylinder off and see how the piston looks. We got the cylinder unbolted. There's two eight millimeter bolts right here. We pulled out the timing chain guide. But we're gonna slip this off and we're gonna see what, the, uh, what it looks like inside there. All right, we got the cylinder off, as you can see. Just make sure you don't drop this timing chain in there. The crank bearings are freaking solid. Piston looks to be in really good shape. And you can't see that. So yeah, we just should have to just replace the piston rings. Cylinder also, something that's in pretty good shape. Look like it might have took on a little bit of water, but everything else is pretty solid. Just clean it up a little bit and uh, throw it back together. So we got all the gasket surfaces clean. Took a uh, razor blade to this one. Um, we got the piston clean, got the cylinder clean, the head clean. Took a uh, flat wheel to this thing and lightly grounded all the stuff off of it all the gasket we're about to go back together with it and here's the piston like I was saying it looks in damn good shape like no skirt wear or nothing we got the piston rings right here we're gonna install let's see these are pretty easy to install it says uh get this thing to focus Focus. All right, I guess I need to focus on something that's small. But this is the first ring. It says it up there, if you can see it. Ah, it says first. This is the second ring. So you can see that one says second. And then obviously, these are the oil rings. So we're gonna get those installed. First, we're gonna start with the oil ring. And you want to clock them have a gap here a gap here a gap here a gap here you don't want to have all the gaps in the same area because you have buku blow by and it have a lower compression they just leak all the compression down so these are beveled on both sides so it don't matter which way they go but you need to put one on the bottom of this pull ring and on the top All right, I'm, I'm gonna get these rings installed because it's kind of hard to do it one hand, but I'm gonna get them installed and I'm gonna show you all after. All right, we got the piston rings installed, as you can see. We're gonna get the cylinder installed and the head installed.
get that over with. I mean, I see how it came apart. It's pretty much just going back together the same way and go from there. We got the engine back together, but I got the carb on it. Got everything timed. She starts to ride it up and put a little fuel in it. She runs damn good. Um, starts to ride it up. All right, guys, we're going to get this thing back together. We're going to get it all cleaned up and ready to post and sell. Either we're going to sell it and buy another flip or we're going to trade it. But don't forget, like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. You know, if you like seeing this stuff, like seeing these flips, like seeing them come apart, put together, I'll be going more in-depth in videos the more the channel grows. Keep up with the channel, and don't forget to go, uh, go find this thing on Facebook and go buy it from me. Thanks, guys.